hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. You get to see me do a really quick project. Let's shut the camera off. I don't think I see anything right now. Of course, when I shut the camera off, all these wonderful things will go. This broke, so I'm going to put that, throw that in the trash. Let me get something. not even video worthy. This is something I cut out from a tote lid. I'm nowhere near done. I want to paint it. I painted it gray. I should have left it. It was gray. I don't know why I painted it gray. I don't know. Maybe I was testing the paint. I had this hanging. <gasps> this has got hummingbird foot in it. These are one of the dots. Here's the thing. You can't hang this because the hummingbirds come by and this thing is swinging. You want things to be stable when they come by. We're going to have to figure out how we want to do this. I really don't need this plugged in unless I start using it. So, I am out here early in the morning. Just finished my coffee. And I don't even know if I should really put this up. I'm going to get, what the heck are you doing? Wasting my time. And I'm thinking, ugh, I don't know. But I'm doing this for me. I'm going to hang the hummingbird on here. See what I'm doing? And which way am I going to paint it? Probably do go that way because that's I like that way better. So now what I need to do, I had one hole already here, and I need to make a hole where I can put a zip tie around it and figure out how I want the bird to go. So how do I want the hole? I've got a hole there. No, they go this way. Oh, I see. Oh, look this way. No, that's still not right. We're going to do it. There. there we go. There we go. I can paint this side later. So I would do it this way because I want to make sure this is still up. Or I can tip them a little bit. Here's the problem. I'm trying to work with a hole I already made. Let's, let's just go here. And that's probably not going to work. Let's go here. You know, I turned it off and I should have left it off. Let me plug it back in. I have two projects I'm working on. This is nothing with nothing. So you're actually watching something that's nothing with nothing. I'm going to zip tie this on. I think I made the holes too far apart. I don't have a gray one. I have a clear one. I don't know if I can do that. I'm going to go this route. Bring it this way. Like I said, I only got one camera, so you're only going to you're going to have to use your imagination. I, like I said, I don't even know if it's worth putting it up. I'm literally just turned on the camera because it was here. Okay, let's see if we can get this zip tied on. That's the main thing right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll zip tie this side on. See, now when the hummingbird comes, now I can, oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. I don't have a scissor, so I can cut it later. See? And now is the decision. Do I want them tipped down? Yes, yes. I want him tipped down. Now I make the holes where I know he's going to be tipped down. So I put make one there. Hold your breath. And make one there. Hold your breath. Why am I holding my breath? I don't want the smoke in my face. Okay. Now let's see. I gotta come through this way. I'm bringing it through here. Bringing it through here. This is more of a vlog. I've been sitting outside having coffee. I moved some containers around. Today I'm going to have a day that I hope I could just work in the garden a little bit. Just a little bit. And I've been looking at this swing around hummingbirds saying, what the heck? I can't catch that. And that's true. You can't. You don't want them to catch something. You want things stable for hummingbirds. Yes, you hang your hummingbird feeders. They swing, but they can sit on that. See? Now look at that. Now when I stick this in, I can sit this here. I love this because I can adjust this any way I want. This is done for now until I decide I'm going to paint it. I put these little pom-poms on there. I got them at Michael's or something. Maybe it was Joann's. They were blowing them out. It was Joann's is a uh, fabric store. And I thought, I might be able to use those someday. And after about 10 years of sitting, I'm not supposed that long, I realized I can put them on top of my tomato steaks. So if you bend down, you don't 
poke your eye, you would hit a soft thing. And it works. And you know what? I glued that on about three years ago. It's been a while. And they're still on. All right, so this is done. And I, like I said, I can cut the zip ties off later with the scissors. So let's get that out of the way. That's one project I want to do today. The other thing is I found this in the yard. I don't even know what this is. I must have found it in the trash. So what I want to do is I found this. This is an old lid to a container that broke. And I know it's not that good. I might just clean up the edges a little bit. It might last, who knows, a few months, could last a year, could surprise me. I just want to get rid of any sharp edges. Now, you probably can't see a thing I'm going to do. I'm going to zip tie this on the see if I can move back a little bit. And I'm going to make a bird feeder so it's not sitting on the ground. And if I zip tie it on, you know, a smart way, I don't have a pen on me. A smart, smart way would be to have a pen. I don't need to do too much. Let's just put a hole here. Kind of eyeball this one. Let's try not to go through my finger. Have I ever done that? Not yet. Okay, I like this. If you work outside, you can just turn the extension cord off. And I'm going to unplug the extension cord now. I'm going to attach this. Put the zip tie on the bottom. I've got all kinds of things. I've been trying to make a fountain, and I realized by looking at it today, I made it too complicated, or I was thinking too complicated. I haven't made it yet. So now I know how I'm going to make a bird fountain, a different one. I've got so many projects. I have an idea how we can make balls really easy. Of course, it's got to work first. And I've got to get it together. Okay. You can't see what I'm doing, but all I'm doing is putting a zip tie on. You know how I do my zip ties. So I've got one zip tie there. Yeah, even one is good. I'm going to put another zip tie. Let me see if I can turn it where you can see. I am just, just made some holes. I'm putting in zip ties. Here. It's just, it's really temporary, but I just don't want it on the ground. I want to be able to see it more. And I have it. It's here, so that's all. No big deal. I might make some holes in the tray because if it rains, I don't think we're going to get any rain for a while, you can still have the seed in there, and they'll still eat it. They'll eat, they love wet seed. Wet seed is not a problem. They just don't want it underwater. There we go. Look at that. Pull it. Look at that. I made myself a bird stand. I probably will put something on the other side. And I think I'll put at least one more in. I could put two more in. I don't know if this is still hot enough. Mm, actually, it is. See, these things unplugged. You could take this, you could plug it in, heat it up, and then go outside. You don't even have to have it plugged in. Look, I didn't even plug it back in. All right, let's get this. Get this here, and then I can cut off a little tails off the zip ties. Zip ties, you get those at the dollar store. You can get a bag for a big, like a hundred of them, 75 to a hundred of them for a dollar. What else? What else? You can go to any store. You can order them online. They'll cost a little more, but you can get them online. Everybody's got zip ties. For simple projects like this, these are these are really cheap ones. It's, it does the trick for now. I don't really need four, but you know what? If one broke, I don't have a scissors. Um, if one broke, then you know it won't be any big deal because it will still be holding. Let's see, and I'm putting one here. Isn't that cool? Literally found material in the yard. This container got thrown out, as you can see, the lid's starting to break, but. Stable enough, I think, for a bird feeder. Do you hear the birds? We have had tons of goldfinches. Not hundreds, but just a lot of them all over, and they've been feeding on the south thistle that's all over here. I've been watching them, and they're so interesting because they 
I didn't know what they were doing. They would put the what they ate under their foot. I thought, that's weird. Are they going to leave the fuzz or take it with them or what? It turned out, look at that, I got a bird feeder. You'll see it set up. I got a bird feeder. Isn't that cute? Off the ground, just sit somewhere. Oh, I like that. Junk material that should have been in the trash. And they were putting it under their foot. And what they were doing was, and they're doing it right now, they don't want to waste their time of trying to go back and eat something they already ate. So they pull it off, they take the seed, think of a sunflower seed. There's a teeny, teeny, teeny sliver of the meat inside that they're looking for. They eat that, but when they split it, we can't see it, it's that tiny. They know that they've eaten the inside, but when they sp split it, it probably closes back up. It'll be open like that, but it closes back up. So they don't want to look at it again. So he takes that tiny little seed, fuzz and all, puts it under his foot, and when he's done, flicks it. He, flicks, he just leaves it. He doesn't have any interest in it. Now if they're eating upside down on the south thistle, then they'll let the seed fall because they don't. They already know they ate it. But he holds all the seeds he's eaten. Now if he leaves it on the plant and any of it's stuck, then the hummingbirds will come and pick it up because they're lining their, all their nests. There's tons of nests everywhere. So look at that. With this something I found in the trash, I still don't know what it is, some sort of stand. I now have a little bird feeder. And I'll put that back there for now. I've got my hummingbird thing up. See, now I can put my dot here. I should put it on the deck. And this isn't going to blow in the wind. It may turn. I can always stop it from turning. But now I can paint it if I want to paint it gray. Or I can leave it as a silhouette. Either way. But now, it, like the problem was, no joke, it was blowing in the wind because it was hanging. And, and it's like a hummingbird's going to come by and go, I'm not going to bother with that. That is really cool. Now, if I wanted to get... Oh, I wanted to put something else on that. I don't think I have... I don't think I have anything here. This is... This isn't even... This is literally a waste for you to watch. But if I put this up, I'm going to have a lot of thumbs down. I get a lot of comments sometimes that I take to heart, and I shouldn't. Some of them I do. I'm getting better at thinking, oh, well, everybody's got their opinion. It's so... Okay. Let me see. There is something I want to do on this, and I'll show you. I need a branch. Where would I find a branch? There's going to be branches. I'll be right back. Let me go see if I can find the branch. doesn't matter what it is. Not much. Hold on. Oh, I found one right behind you. Let's see. There's a branch there. I don't I got a branch anywhere else. This is awful big. Okay. That was easy and quick. Because I'm dealing with small birds, not big birds. I was thinking on this. I'll probably face it this way. Cut these off and face it that way. And since it's kind of broke on the end here, I was thinking of putting a branch. Like just just like that. That simple. Which now I'm gonna have like this back. And you can do that with zip ties. Some of you have been asking me about squirrels. I'm working with that. I might just put one, one little branch. I have been watching some videos on squirrels. And of course we have our own squirrels. It's not hot enough. I have made some that are kind of squirrel proof. They're definitely rat proof. I've made them on poles. I've got a video up and it works. It was out there for, um, I guess, over a year. It just recently broke because it was just out of a cheap plastic container. It broke just from the sun because there's nothing in it. It's not like a tote. You keep watering the soil. It keeps the tote soft. Well, this was just bird seed, so it finally snapped and I just threw it out or moved it somewhere. But um, they couldn't really go up the pole. They didn't want to, but they can leap, but they didn't bother with it. So that was pretty squirrel proof. I've never had a squirrel in one of those. And let's see, I think what we're gonna have to do if we're feeding a lot of birds is we're gonna put a lot of them on pedestals. So put your best food on pedestals and then leave a bowl on the bottom for them. That's what I think I'm gonna do. That would be kind of the easiest thing to do. It's kind of like, you know, why fight them, join them? Because if they have something, then 
they may not bother with this much. Now I'll just put a zip tie here. This is a waste of a zip tie. I should have put, actually I like this zip tie. We'll go with this. I should have put yarn or bread tie on this. Now I'm just going to put a zip tie here. So they have a perch to land on too. They're going to end up in the bowl. You'll see. They'll be in here in five minutes or less. Five minutes or less. If it was a hummingbird feeder, I'd have them here even. Ah, the plastic broke. That's why I said the plastic. I'm going to cut this down right here. I need to put. Why? Because I can pull it in and give it a little extra oomph to hold the thing. The hummingbirds are so funny. If I go outside and put something down, they have to come check it out right away because they think I've done something. Oh, she's given us something. Even if it's not for them, they come check it out. I'm listening to all the birds around here. I'm just going to take this little piece of plastic off. You know, I keep in the garden. I used to carry it around if I, you know, a bag or something to pick up plastic or glass or something you find, a bird could have dropped something and you don't want it. And I used to carry something around and now I just take a food bag and just stick it somewhere and just keep filling it up that way and then once it's full, just throw it out in the trash. All right, that's it. Let's not pull too hard. We don't want to break the plastic. We want this to last. I like the color. Well, I'm not that crazy about pink, but it's all right. I mean, pink is nice. It's like shocking pink. There you go. You know hummingbirds will use this as a perch? <laughs> That's it. So now I can trim it. I can leave that or attach something to it. I don't want to waste any more zip ties. Cut off that, and now I have a little bird stand. I told you I was going to make a hole. I'm not going to use this for a bird bath, no. Let's make a couple holes. So if it ever gets wet in there, it will just run out. So if it should suddenly decide to rain one day, and if I, I don't have any paper towels, but see I have to wipe the plastic off. I should, I've got a video on that, so easy. I'm looking to see if I've got any paper towels here. Yes, I do, yes I do. I don't have an oven mitt, so let it cool down for a minute. I usually use an oven mitt, and it's the easiest thing to do. We'll use our gloves, but we know it's super hot right now. So I can just put that there. It's still smoking, but that's it. Look at that. It's clean. Clean as a whistle. Now I will take this paper towel and throw it away. I was just wiping the table down with it when there's dust. That's it. So now I'm going to go set up some stuff on the wall. I am still, that is a hummingbird. I know what that is. They're out, their feeders are empty because I left them with a, all the feeders with a little bit and they will come here and do that, that I'm trying to see if I can see them but they will find me and then they'll do that chirp 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 and I'll go there and the feeders are empty or close to it it may be almost all of them are empty and there's one and they have their favorite ones but look at that we'll get this set up this is not a project this is kind of a chit chat good morning I'm just so excited that the weather is getting nicer we're supposed to get cool next week but we'll see, and it's a peaceful morning, just during the week. Like I said, I came out, had my coffee, brought my phone, nobody called me. <laughs> uh, nobody calls me, really. And um, just figured I'd bring my phone in case, just I always, I like carrying my phone in case of emergency. I mean, what if I fell? What if I was in the garden and I fell? What if a mountain lion came and, and knocked me over? I would be too busy trying to do photographs. But I can call somebody in case of emergency, and I carry that in my pocket, see? And that's that. So, I'll leave that there. I'm going to go get stuff done. What am I going to do today? I think I'm going to plant my blueberries. I want to get the blueberries out of the front yard, at least one set. And the set is two, it's two varieties. So I'm going to have three blueberries in one big container. I did find that when they planted it, they planted it in a peat moss cup. And it wasn't a true peat moss cup. It was lined in a film of plastic, and it it looks like cellophane. They can't break loose really, really good. So I'm going to get that all off. Plant all three really good in a container here. See how it does, and if it does really well, I'll bring the other set over here. And so I'm going to do that today. 
I am going to put up my hummingbird feeder, either here or on the deck, the one I just put together. We will get into this. I'm going to tell you how easy it is to make these things. And it doesn't have to be a hummingbird feeder. It's going to be for a lot of different things besides a hummingbird feeder. And that's it. I've got one more tote ready, and I'm waiting for more zucchini. And I ordered some gray zucchini. I bought that in the store. So I think it's called um, a Mexican zucchini. It's really good. It's really good. You find them a lot in Hispanic markets, and it's not bright, shiny green. It's They call it gray. It's not gray. It's kind of, it's mottled, kind of like your Charleston, a little bit uh, watermelon. They're, they're not a solid green. So it's kind of mottled, but they taste really good. So I figured, you know what? I've never grown that. And I'm going to get that growing in certain areas. And I'm going to tag them. I love making tags out of tote lids. Please, if you've got tote lids, don't throw them out. So many of you said, what are we going to do with tote lids? Tote lids. There's a lot of stuff we're going to do with tote lids. More than even this. There's just going to be more and more. So don't throw that out. But yeah, this has been the greatest thing. I carry these around. I keep them here. Tag everything and I know where everything is. All right. I have now wasted your time because this was a nothing with a nothing project. It was just to say good morning. See? And that's what it's going to go. I can put it in any planner I want. And I now have a little hummingbird feeder right there. I don't think he'll find it right away. I don't have a feeder right here yet. I'm going to put a feeder here. But if I put this near any hummingbird feeder, he'll immediately look. They know what the dots are I make. So that's it. So with that, I'm sorry I wasted your time. I'm getting to work. I'm going to get my setup over there done. I've been watching all the goldfinches still. And is it quiet and peaceful? What do I hear? I hear a plane. In the distance, not around here. I hear a rooster from down the hill. Now somebody's sawing. And just birds. I like when it's quiet. I hear the goldfinches. That little, gee, gee, that's goldfinches. All right. I've wasted your time. Have a great day and don't forget to eat with your grill. Bye bye. This is cool. Isn't that fun? Now I can hang. I could put flowers on here if I want. There's a lot of things I could do. I just need a scissors and get rid of the little tags. Yeah, I better go do the hummingbirds. Kitty, I just came in from making some bird feeders, but look what Gary got you. Got you purple, purple sprouting broccoli. <gasps> purple. Is that good? Okay, I gotta go do the hummingbirds.